There are just a few pieces that are um, the components of this. We've got a we've got a stainless steel drip tray, which um, picks up the oil and, and, and deposits this into a gutter. We've got a, a, a shielding that goes over the sieve, which keeps the oil from squirting out and getting away from us. And so there's it comes with, with two of those. And then we'll we'll tear off the, the components. Here is the, the, the jet is the final part of the of, of the um, screw assembly. It's, it's just the, the, the jet where the, the grain actually extrudes out. This is the press head component. There's a, there's a jam nut on the end, which will come right off. And we just loosen up this jam nut so that we can move the, the pre-jet, which is this portion, off, you know, in and out as, as a fine adjustment. And this pre-jet will, will come out as well of the press head assembly. We'll um, bring that out. And it's got quite a few threads on it here. And this is the, 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 the pre-jet. This whole assembly is, the, is what I call the press head. So here's the final component of the press head. And you notice that it's counterclockwise to take it off, clockwise to put it on. And there's the, there's the other part of the component. You can see the face of the screw in here. This is the, the sieve, which is the, which is the barrel of the, of, of the um, tube. That will come right off and that goes off clockwise. You can see there's some, there's some tooling in there that facilitates the oil. Um, as it's extracted, the oil comes off between this face and this face. It actually travels back down and then drips out through the weep holes here. This is the screw and it just comes right out of the, right out of the gearbox. And it's a snug fit, but it's come right out. And, and this is a screw. Of course, it's held in with a, with a key. And so the key is part of the, part of the deal. And so all we've got to do to put it back together is just start, is just start reassembling these, these components. The, the, the tool part goes to the outside and um, this goes on counterclockwise. The press head goes on clockwise. And we just put these components back on. And we want to put the pre-jet all the way in and then back it out. We'll lock it in place with the, with the final nut. As you notice, we've got, we've got holes on these, on these assemblies and we've got a spanner wrench that we can tighten up and, and loosen up as we need. We'll put the we'll put the press head or the press jet in, and that and that is the final compression that takes place. We've got a we've got a, a, a socket wrench that will um, allow us to seat this firmly. When we um, get all of this um, locked in place, we typically we'll typically seat it firmly with a with a rubber mallet. We have some press head heaters that are used prior to um, start up to just to just pre-warm the the press once the once the press is warm then you take the heaters off and just allow it to run turn it off okay. do you want to do an outro or a what do you need like an outro or is that okay 